The normal cats and the variants are some of the most important cats in the game as they teach you basics of enemy typing and a different kind of cattiness that are generally in the game. Some stay relevant throughout the entire game like dragon and fish, but one normal cat type has continued being the most worthless out of the bunch, and that's flying. I completely hate flying because I see its potential and I want to get straight into the three main variants of flying as soon as possible. These variants are little flying, normal flying, and a maniac. But we'll be talking about regular flying first instead of little this time. His only strength is his high DPS, but other than that he completely fails in all departments. He has very, very low health. You'd expect this kind of health to only be acceptable for the backliners, midrangers, or long range cats. But no, this is a melee cat that's meant to get in there and dish out damage. Yes, he's in the same category as Maxim the Fighter in the add-in variants. Though he can't actually take any damage. His range is so bad that he can't even outrange Sir Shield, which will definitely not come back because of his four knockbacks. 4 knockbacks for a low health melee unit. A lot of knockbacks are damaging to even high HP melee units like Maximum the Fighter, so imagine how bad it would be for a low HP melee cat. Actually you don't, I'll just show you. As you can see, the Cersei knocks back flying before he can even dish out any real damage. For some reason he also has weakened against angels? Why? Why does he have weakened against angels? Angels like Angelic Goria Gabriel either rush you or they outrange you like Sanford Jones and Sarfana, or how do you say that, in most circumstances. And with both rushing or outranging, flying won't be able to hit their target, and why weaken at all for a unit like this at a 20% chance for a 50% weaken? Because of his health, resistance would have made more sense. If you want to weaken anyone, just use Thermoturge since she weakens everyone except metals and has more range than flying. Flying's range is also not worth it because it costs 975 and has a super shoot cordon. This sounds like it would work as a cat that you could stack quickly and deal insane DPS, or sort of a kamikaze unit that comes in to do damage quickly and then die like Kitty of Liberty or Danta. But in practice, it entirely fails. Because of his 4 knockbacks, low health, and range, you can stack him, and it's highly likely that he'd die before you can get any meaningful amount of damage done to your enemies. And because of the price, it's going to drain your damn wallet without you killing any enemies for money back. Having Flying in your loadout, unless it's for the cat combo, is entirely detrimental no matter what level he's at. There is zero reason to use this unit over cats that can do something similar, like Maximum and the Fighter, Kitty of Liberty, Courier Cat, the Dragon Variant, Pizza Cat, Camera Cat, and I could go on. And for all of these reasons, I believe that Flying is genuinely the second worst normal cat behind Axe. And at least at some point, Axe was useful, even if it was for like 10 levels. This might differ for some others, but I can't remember any time when Flying was actually useful since I just used other gacha units. It is way too easy to improve Flying. All you have to do is raise his range to 300 to 350, lower his knockback count to 1 while lowering his health even further and giving him a low chance to survive. With higher range, he could actually be a mid ranger who does high damage, though unlike the usual ones, if any enemy gets too close to him and hits him, he's probably dead. This would make him an absolute glass cannon, with high cost for high reward as it would be possible to make a big stack of flying cats that could die at any moment if any enemy outranges him or somehow survives the stack for long enough to damage it, i.e. an interesting and good unit. It also have no ability to target any enemy because it wouldn't make sense for him to specifically target anyone if his DPS is already good and he's a glass cannon mid-ranger. Or we could lead him to the melee direction and make his health higher and lower his neck by count to 2. We could keep the weaken but make it for all the enemies except metal so he's also a debuffer on top of that that can make himself survive longer. Now we'd have a unique high DPS respectable melee unit who can also debuff enemies for the better survivability for not only him but his other melee units and meat shields. And finally we could completely change him and make him a one hit rusher like Maglev or Bravo. I don't know, I mean, I'm just coming up with whatever, and my ideas of what flying could have been are 400 times better than what we actually got. Flying is a truly disappointing normal cat, and not like how Axe or Jameta is, because he tried to be a glass cat in meta unit, but because of a multitude of reasons, it completely failed, and it's clear as to why there aren't any notable units like it. Little's are usually the worst variants of the normals, but Little Flying is actually a really good anti-zombie specialist. He already has good TPS, and he's also strong against zombies. Plus he's 70 step based, so giving him levels and attack up talents will help him a ton. Of course he's still flying, so he has the same problems as the other variants, like comically low health, a terrible amount of knockbacks, a high cost, an oddly low cooldown, and a horrendous range, but he doesn't fail at his job. He's simply a very flawed unit that can be strong when used correctly. I think this variant of flying is actually fine. As I said, it has a lot of weaknesses, but its high DPS versus zombies is a selling point. And with correct usage and levels, he can tear into a lot of zombie stages. So no improvement here is needed. I guess he could have better talents like a low short freeze chance against zombie enemies since that make him more effective in close combat due to his low HP and range. And I'm thinking a cost down at max to 450 over curse immunity. Though I haven't encountered any riddick set, I assume that if flying is being cursed, then he's probably too close to death for that to matter much. 
much because of his terrible health. Check out my Discord, link in the description. This unit is not so different from his predecessor. Despite the higher range, he still suffers through all of the problems that the other flyings have. He has 4 knockbacks, garbage health, and his higher range isn't enough to be worth much. So now he can outrange a lot more melee enemies unlike the original flying, but come across any enemy mid-ranger or backliner and that's it. It's a real shame since he doesn't improve much in any category, since if he had costs like how Manic Island costs less, then I could see me using him more often, but even that stayed the same. He's not even targeting any trait, and for Manic Flying he could have at least had strong ends floating or freeze on Angel or something, but no! Maniac flying has nothing and this maniac feels phoned in as instead of changing something major like how they made maniac module legs a waiver or how they leaned in heavily on maniac lion being a rusher, they just stab both him and left it. It's kind of sad honestly. Maniac flying is so similar to the original that I could say the same thing that I did earlier and it applied perfectly here. So instead we're just going to go in a completely different direction like other maniacs. To improve maniac flying, he'll be more similar to a stage version, a slow moving nuker with high range. 380. Maniac would attack occasionally every 20 seconds, but when he attacks, he'll do damage comparable to max attack of Dancer at level 40. Though, to balance this, he should cost 2800, have a retard speed of 30 seconds, and have one knockback, and even worse health at 5000. Now he's still flying cat, but just a way more extreme version of his stats and weaknesses, which would make him an interesting kamikaze unit comparable to Dancer, while being different enough as to where he's clearly not just a copy paste version of him. Flying cat and his variants, except the little one, are some of the most pathetically worthless cats in the entire game. There's no purpose of using any of them over anything else that you have, and when you put a normal or maniac flying into your loadout, you're actively doing it yourself a disservice. I've been Noya, and I hope that you liked this video. More battle cats and terrain content will be arriving later.